Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Persona 3 Reload. So last time we had a summer vacation, right? With our friends. It was pretty fun. We learned some stuff and we got a new, I guess, teammate. But she's not a playable character, at least right now. I guess, right? She's here now. She's right here. So the plan today is do some social links up until we reach the day before the full moon event again, right? So we'll do a lot of what do you call them again? The the monk, yes. We'll do his um his social links at night. Yes. You. Let's learn more about Mutatsu. I thought your face looked familiar. You here again, kid? <laughs> Even Buddha's not that forgiving. All right, that's it. I'm gonna hand you over to the bouncer and. Well, there's no Buddha in this world, so stop looking at me like that and sit down, kid. So tell me, is it that fun hanging out with an old monk whose own wife and kid left him? How come you're always alone when I see you? Don't you got any friends? I don't have any friends, sad. Well, either you like being alone or you got problems. In any case, well said. No hesitation whatsoever. Don't worry if you don't got any friends. Most of life's troubles come from human relationships anyway. Let's define a friend as someone you hold dear. The way I see it, no one in this world ever really cares for others. People always want something out of a relationship. They only really love themselves. You don't call someone who doesn't like you your friend, do you? No. Because you know you won't get nothing from them. Which means in this world, there's no one you can truly hold dear. At the end of the lonely road of love, kid, you're the only one left standing there. What? You see those gals over there? The ones on the dance floor? You can bring one of them over here. I'll be your friend in return, eh? What do you think? I know you can do it. Okay. <laughs> Mutatsu. This better, his story better be something by the end, right? He's gonna tell us why he's you're like this. Tired I mean. to go talk to him, huh? <laughs> you look like you're gonna doze off any second now. Go home for now, kid. Besides, I know you're gonna come again anyway. Even if I tell you not to. Oh, we're gonna get our scores today, right? We have school now, I think. It is morning. I request that you wake up. Okay. <laughs> She's actually waking us up now. You have successfully awakened. Mission complete. We have our own alarm clock. Um, my alarm clock. It has not triggered yet. Five minutes early is on time. That is the phrase posted on the wall. So I woke you five minutes before your alarm clock engages. Hey, are you awake? That girl disappeared and we can't find her anywhere. Can you help us? She might have gone out on her own like she did in Yakushima. My name is not that girl. Please address me as I guess. Huh? I guess? When did you... I entered while he was asleep. Unlocking the door took two minutes. That's unlawful entry. Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I determined that it is ideal to be on standby in this room. Is this a problem? What? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? If there is a problem, I will address it promptly. The problem? Well, it's probably against dorm regulations, for one. Look, don't just stand there. Tell her. You can stay here. Oh, come on. You know she's not allowed in here. Okay, look. I'll get a room set up for you on the third floor so you can stay nearby. Just don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? I will do as commanded. Yeah, okay. 
little tired. All right, well, I have practice this morning, so I gotta get to school. What if I go to school, though? Everyone here goes to a place called school in the morning. I comprehend. <sighs> so frigging hot today. So I've been thinking, after we defeat all the shadows and dark and the dark hour disappears, what's gonna happen then? We're gonna get kicked out of the dorm, right? I don't know. So... Well, regular people don't even know about the Dark Hour to begin with, right? That means no one will ever know about anything we've done. I mean, I get it'd be a huge problem if they did, but it just kind of sucks, you know? I mean, it's okay though. At least you, you yourself and your friends know that you saved the world. The exams, our results are up. I'm gonna be number one. I scored the highest. Yes, everyone is looking at me. We did it. Come to think of it, uh, Mitsuru promised to give me a gift uh, if I scored well. She's gonna give me another gift? I mean, she did give me a gift back then as well, right? Um. Baby? <laughs> Baby's getting sad. Okay, let's go to Baby. Wait, don't I have, um... Oh, I don't have temperance, though. You temperance, right? Oh, no, I need to get one. Let me go uh, to Velvet Room fast. Wait, wait, who do we remove? Magician? Magician is already finished, right? Um, let's remove the magician for now. Um, but the thing is, I haven't... Registered to hurry it. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the result. Ah, uh, pretty seashell. Oh my! How split. Amethyst. Very well. Never mind. Just remove it. Yeah, let's just remove it. strength. Uh, for it, it's for. Uh, Emperor is King Frost is much more expensive if I buy him again. I, I forgot, yeah. They base temperance, Welcome I forgot. To the velvet room. Bebe. Please take a look. Gimme give gimme give just a, the, this the, um, is acceptable. May it be your inner the cheapest strength. one. Very well. I'm gonna have to remove we the uh, persona anyways. Let's go, Bebe. Bebe. Yes. I must. I think I am done for today. Could we go somewhere to eat after this? Sure. Merci. That means a lot to me. There is something I need to talk to you about. Hello. Where do I begin? I'm afraid. I might have to go back home soon. The only reason I was able to come here was because of my aunt. But my uncle did not agree with the decision. Get home now, maintenant. Is he my uncle or the mafia? If I do return home, back to my uncle, I might never come back to Japan again. Then just stay in Japan. Do you mean it? I would love to stay. I want to dedicate my life to learning everything about Japan. Except, it does not matter what I say to him. I cannot afford to live here without my uncle's help. And I have gotten to know you well. I cannot simply say, see you later, and leave you like this. It's kind of sad for baby. It's almost time to say, see you later. Then I'll see you at the club sometime. 
See you later, baby. I wonder what's gonna happen at the end. At the end of his uh, social link. Welcome back. Uh, not too shabby. <laughs> That's great news. I'm happy for you. That reminds me, Kurijo Senpai was top of her class again. I mean, where does she find the time? She's unreal. Excuse me. In two weeks, the moon will be full again. Uh... Dude, those freaks with apathy syndrome will be everywhere. Wait, I mean the lost. I mean, I feel bad for the victims and all, but seriously, it's like there's no end to them. That's a negative. Technically speaking, there is an end to them. Six shadows remain. If we can eliminate them, the dark hour will vanish. <laughs> Man, that is true. So what are you trying to say, I guess, is that fighting is more important than studying, right? I agree, a hundred thousand percent. I gotta talk to Mitsuru. Oh, excellent. Okay, she gave me uh, these um, items again. Oh, I got Mega Master Man now. Honestly, I'm not using those. We'll use them when we get a uh, like a very very good persona. All stats plus three. Okay, I want that. Akihiko. Okay. So we're gonna hang out with Akihiko this time. Yeah. It's not a social link, but yes, it's still hanging out. All right. This time, let's have a nice meal as we talk about our future battles. Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? Our future battles, huh? Hmm, what's wrong? Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. First things first. Let's get some food. Hey, what's going on? Should we call somebody? There you are, Akihiko Sonata. Oh, it's this guys again. Oh, you're the guys from before. Turns out you're pretty famous, huh? An up and coming boxer, that it? Time to pick up where we left off. Show me what you got. <laughs> Kicking your ass is gonna do wonders for our rep. No way we're gonna pass this up. Champ or not, look at our numbers. You ain't got a chance. I mean, take him one on one, yes. <laughs> Boxes are tough, ain't they? What? You can't handle a challenge? You're welcome to join him though, Pipsqueak. See? We're reasonable, right? <laughs> you said beating me would do wonders for your rep. I thought this was about testing each other's strength. You idiot. I'm just gonna have fun kicking your ass because you're full of yourself. And who the hell cares about any of that as long as you win? Isn't that how you roll too? <laughs> So, you want to go first or what? Get back. Okay, look out. I don't know. Officer over here. Are you shitting me? Get back here! Hey! Nobody runs away from us! <sighs> Running away is easy enough. It's losing them that's the hard part. Still, made for a good workout, right? That was some quick thinking, by the way. Just what I'd expect from our leader. I mean, not a problem. I don't exactly like turning my back to an opponent. But it doesn't matter in the end if I can't protect the ones beside me. And being outnumbered increases our risk of injury or damaging our surroundings. What I mean is, you made the right call. I owe you one. Hmm? It's addressed to me. Says it contains fruits, snacks, and beverages. Looks like it's from my parents. I'll take it to my room later. Your parents? Yeah, my foster parents that adopted me. I haven't kept in touch lately since I'm so busy. <laughs> but it sounds like they're doing well. I appreciate how much they care, but this is a little too generous. Want to take some of it off my hands? And again, You'll hardly make a dent in this either. Hmm. Let's call the others. Good idea. 
Would you mind gathering everyone up? Oh my, very intriguing. Everything is such high quality. I can tell just by looking. Your parents must really care about you. <laughs> At least you know how to behave in front of your parents, Akihiko. Don't you ever have anything nice to say about me? My parents have been good to me. I obviously haven't told them about what we do here, though. Wow! When it comes to being considerate of others, you're a heavyweight. Let's have you in our corner, senpai. There he goes again. These sure look good, though. Thanks for sharing, Sonata Senpai. Take whatever you want. Hey, hey this looks senpai. really good. What's that? Huh. Going for that oh, one, huh? Like you get that for royalty. You have my thanks. That took care of most of it. I'm surprised they were so happy. Hmm. I've really got to show my gratitude to my parents and to everyone here. Well, all this talk about my parents reminded me of some things from the past, like why I'm here right now. I guess I feel like I remember my reason for fighting. Hmm, I don't really get it. I don't know, see, I'm glad to hear it. Well, don't mind me. Let's just say I've got a lot of room to grow. The dorm's gotten so much busier. The orphanage used to be something like this too. We all lived under the same roof. Just having casual conversations. I'd forgotten what it was like, but it wasn't so bad. I remembered after you suggested we share with everyone. Let's do it again sometime. Tell that to my parents. I've really got to repay you in particular, though. Or we'll never be squared away. Alright, it's pretty late now. I guess we should clean up and call it a night. There's something mixing here. It's a letter and some sort of handcrafted object. It looks like a gold medal that's made of cardboard. What? Is there something there? This is... Is it also a gift? No, this is mine. You won't understand what it means, but it's from a long time ago. Do you mind if I ask you something? You take on the role of our leader, and you're stronger than anyone else in your own right. That's more than just being talented. Where do you get that strength from? It's thanks to the bonds I have, yes. Oh, I see. You mean you feel motivated because you have people in your corner? Bonds with others, huh? That might be something I'm missing. Well, whatever it is, you've clearly got something that I don't. But being jealous or trying to copy you isn't gonna help me. That strength is yours alone. I'm going to get stronger. But I'll do it my way. Sorry, we were supposed to be cleaning up. I'll take care of the rest. Things got so busy that I missed out on my chance to thank you again. Hopefully the food was enough for today. I'll invite you out again some other time. You got some stuff. Yes. I took Sonata's gesture of appreciation and then returned to my room. Oh, my charm went up. Yes. Only one though. Saturday. What's oh, Saturday? Maybe we can go with uh, our friend Yuko. Dude, summer break starts tomorrow. It's prime time for a little beachside romance. You know, I bet other guys would kill to be in our shoes. After all, we're staying in the same dorm as three super cute girls, right? You think so? Yeah, totally. <laughs> but if you want to be more than friends, you got a lot of work ahead of you. Kirito Senpai is the top of the class and student council president. You'd have to be an uber nerd for her to even give you the time of day. So we maxed out our courage, right? And then we, I think we got... Was it Fuka? Yeah, Fuka I think, right? So we need to max out our charm and our knowledge. So Yukatan is pretty popular too. You gotta be as styling as she is to be a good match. So for... Yukari, we need to max out our charm, I suppose. 
Kuka is, well, soft-spoken and kind of hard to grasp, so we might need to take the initiative with her, I guess. So that's why that's courage. Anyway, keep this hush-hush between us, alright? So Junpei is uh, giving us basically tips on what to do. You need to max out your stuff before you can start uh, their social link. We'll get started. Okay, please take your seats. Uh, solve it Kogla or salve, rather. Your teacher has suddenly fallen ill, so I'll be feeling in today. Sick on the last day before summer vacation. That just show you why you have to take get good care of your health. Oh, summer vacation. Anyway, I'll be giving you all a crash course on alchemy. A branch of magic focus on, amongst other things, generating wealth. Like the sound of that, do you? Of course, who among us would turn down free money? It's human nature to want what uh, one, what one lacks. Eh, there's no escaping it. So despite the lesson imparted to us by King Midas, humans have long sought a way to create precious metals for themselves. However, the alchemists of old were not so arrogant as to believe that they could create gold by touching anything they pleased. Rather, they sought a process that allowed them to convert a cheaper metal such as iron or copper into more lucrative ones. This goal is the pinnacle of alchemy, a given form, the Philosopher's Stone. Regardless of their incentive or their success, there is no denying that alchemists have made a significant impact in world history. The roots of alchemy originate in Hellenistic Egypt with the city of Alexandria at its center. As the Western Roman Empire fell, alchemy thrived in Arabia. Many of the Arabic alchemical texts written at the time have survived to this day. The earliest English translations of uh, this text brought the practice to medieval Europe where alchemists gained both power and infamy. Also of note, there is a fascinating branch of Chinese alchemy called Waidan. This practitioner sought a working formula for an elixir of immortality though, rather than a recipe for gold. At any rate, the most important substance in the practice of alchemy is mercury or quicksilver. It was the thought that the mercury could be used in the form of a philosopher's stone which would in turn allow alchemists to generate gold. What the hell why is it so long? Alchemists, or alchemists endlessly toiled in their research using all sorts of equipment and experimental approach. There are some who argue that if not for the alchemists' trial and error, modern chemistry would not exist as we know it today. Unfortunately, there is no definitive proof that the uh, Philosopher's Stone was ever successfully created. Oh my god, why is it so long? Carl Jung, among others, recognized a kinship between alchemists and psychologists. <laughs> Jung believed that psychotherapy could refine a mind to a stronger and healthier state and not unlike how the Philosopher's Stone was said to affect metals. The thing is we need to see this though, because, see, he didn't even ask a question. He's giving us an option to stay awake or close your eyes. Of course we're gonna stay awake because we max out our courage. As such. The hell is this? But yeah, I think it's better to see this because when we have tests or exams, they're gonna ask questions based on this one though. But yeah, that was way too long. It was yapping too much. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It's usually like a uh, couple seconds of reading and then you're done. Or he asks a question. Hey. But that's too long. Minute. Yeah. It's about the track team. Uh, since you just transferred, you probably haven't heard about the Mioho Cup, right? Well, let me tell you. On August 2nd, there's a major competition for track and field. There's this guy named Hayase. Total speed demon. We can't let him trounce us this year. Got high hopes for you, so get ready to train hard. I'm gonna need you to show up from July 27th to August 1st. Now don't go skipping school now. Got a special training regimen in mind for you. ISA won't stand a chance. Competition's on August 2nd. Let's do this thing! Okay. Today marks the end of the first term. Summer break begins tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we can. With Yukari, though, we can start? Uh. No, but I wanna. Yuko is already pretty maxed. Uh, not maxed out, but nearly, I mean. Let's go to Yuko first. Yeah, let's try to finish her up. So we're also done with her. Hi. Yes. <laughs> so then I went to ask about it after class. And you know what happened? Miss Miyahara just wouldn't stop talking. She wrote out some weird math formula and said, It's beautiful, isn't it? All it did was make me more confused than I originally was. 
Guess I'll have to go ask again tomorrow. Uh, you're so hard working, Yuko. You think so? I guess it just feels wrong to not try and understand something. Anyways, I decided to start being serious about my future. Remember when I told you about what happened to me at school? It was when I handed in a blank answer sheet for that pop quiz and I got yelled at by a coda. Back then, I just wanted to graduate and go to a community college or something. But after coaching those kids, I started to realize something. I enjoy helping people who are willing to give it their all. So, I finally figured out what I want to do with my life. Can you guess what it is? You want to be a coach. Yes, an instructor. Hmm, close. You almost got it, Mr. Ex-Assistant Coach. I'm thinking of becoming an athletic trainer. It's their job to monitor each athlete's diet and help them plan their training routine. So I'll go to professional school once I graduate and then work towards earning my certification when I turn 20. Between the general education requirements and the classes for my major, it's gonna be over 350 hours. That's why I'm gonna start studying right now. Improving my writing is my first goal. It took me all night to finish that three page essay, but those kids had a huge influence on me. I know I only agreed to coach them on a whim, but teaching them really made me think. I started wondering what I could teach my own kids one day. And I realized I didn't have the slightest clue. If you hadn't been there with me, I don't think I could have stuck it out until the end. And I definitely never would have thought about my future either. So, thanks. Rank nine. Nice. Uh, also, I know I'm always asking you to stick around and help me with stuff. I just, I kind of feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I realize now that I might have been relying too much on you. I mean, I don't mind. Oh. Why, why are you so nice to me? Are you like this? just with me N no no that, that can't be it huh? oh okay it's gonna be confession time yeah i did say that i want to check every uh scenes with a uh, romanceable character right uh, that we can romance i mean i did it with persona 5 it had consequences right i don't know i don't know the consequences in this game but what i did say when i did say earlier in our in our playthrough of this game that i want to see everything but when I played Persona 5, I did say I was gonna choose one, only one character the next time I played the Persona game again. Um, how about we just do one? Yeah, we just do one, right? Let's not uh, do a harem, a harem, uh, what do you call this? A harem route, I suppose? Yeah, let's just do one. It's because you're a close friend, Yuko. Yeah, of course. I sure am lucky to have such a good friend who's so kind and reliable. Though sometimes you worry me a little. Sometimes you say suggestive things with a straight face, you know? I get the feeling you might give someone the wrong idea. So you should really be careful about that. It could land you in some hot water. Okay, I will. That's the way. Take my advice to heart. Sorry, this isn't what I wanted to talk about. Um... Thank you again for coaching with me. I'm glad I had someone like you to rely on. <laughs> Next time, I'll be there to support you. If there's anything I can help with, just let me know, okay? We're friends, aren't we? We are. I'm gonna head out. I've gotta work on my modern literature and English today. See ya. Okay, I'm gonna stick with it now. Whenever we play a Persona game, we're gonna choose only one. One character to romance. I was at, I was in the moment last time I said that I was gonna do everyone. Let's just do one. Good evening. I'm pleased to see that you're well. <sighs> Your pills. <sighs> I noticed once again that a new ally has been added to the ranks. Well, I suppose it's 
More of a pet than an ally. Makes no difference to me. It seems what you told us of their intentions is true. How terribly lamentable. Now we have no choice but to intervene. <sighs> it is up to the individual how to use the strength they are granted. But to erase the Dark Hour would be denying the very power they possess. And that is the one thing we cannot permit. Fine. Do whatever you want. Hold up a sec. What's your role in all this? We know they asked you to come back. You know, you're really starting to piss me off, nosy little shit. Yeah? Well, they're going down, you hear me? And if you're on their side, then you're going down too. Got that? I already told you, I'm done with them. Okay. Oh, it's the kid. Um. My name is Ken Amara. I'll be staying here for a while. I'll try not to be a bother, so please don't mind me. Okay. Where is Ken Amara then? Oh. Please allow me to re uh, reintroduce myself. My name is Ken Amara. That's Ken written with the character for dry. Okay. Okay, let's meet with Zanaka san. Why, hello? Hello, Mr. President. <laughs> I brought the devil with you. Or to you, I mean. Just the other day, my high school organized a class reunion. Uh, sounds fun. <laughs> I had a splendid time. I laugh just thinking about it. I doubt you'd understand how I feel since you're still in high school, but a class reunion is a very important event. It's the perfect opportunity to show everyone how pathetic their lives turned out. Like that cad who made fun of me for eating plain rice, or the ingrate who threw my holy socks in the trash. Now, they both look at me with envy. What they make in a year, I make in a month. My business is doing great. And I'd say I have a satisfying private life as well. Let me take you under my wing as our exclusive model. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Don't think I would extend this offer to just anyone. President Tanaka is opening up to me. Okay, at the end of this, I'm gonna be his precious prodigy. He's gonna change, he's gonna be a good person. Oh, remember that 40,000 yen you gave me? I'd say you've gotten your money's worth at this point. Hopefully. My time is worth at least 100,000 yen per hour, you know. Shut up. Just think of all the free advice I've given you. You can thank me later. It's getting late, so I'll go back to the dorm. 26. Oh, we got our training uh, 27, right? Oh, it's Sunday. It's Sunday? Oh, we have Tanaka's, uh, Tanaka's commodities. Baby. Do we do baby? Or. Who's, uh, close to her higher rank? We got Yuko. Bunkichi was rank. What a rank is Bunkichi now? Rank nine. He is a hierophant. Eight. Okay, let's go to Bunkichi, but let's check this out first. It's amazing commodities. Tanaka's amazing Dark. commodities. Okay, it was so popular your first time around that like we brought it back better than ever. Good, good. The brand wallet. Did we buy this? Oh my goodness, it's so wonderful. But wait, there's more. Not bad, kid. Perfume as well. I just buy it then. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe someone would need this, right? Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. 
You think Amada kun is gonna end up getting involved in all of this? I mean, it's possible. Yeah. I guess you're right. Ikutsuki san did say he has potential. Not bad. Just one little kid stuck living with a bunch of high schoolers. Well, I suppose it's not the worst thing to happen. Um. Aigi san is a robot, right? You really can't tell whether whenever she wears normal clothes like we do. The Karijo group must be super powerful to have invented a robot like her. True, she's actually like a human though. I mean, her body is pretty much a robot when you look at it, right? But her face um. is, uh, what do you call that? A robot. Hmm, I guess. Can Amada-san. <laughs> I'm able to communicate with him at any time. Please leave it to me. If she could, I might be able to form a bond with her. So it's gonna take time, I suppose, right? Okay, Bunkichi. Yes. Enter the bookstore. Oh my, dear. There's a mistake there. That's not how you write, Gekokon. I know, I know. I hardly ever write it, so I just forgot how it looked for a second. I feel a little bad for all the people who've been campaigning to save the tree. Oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil! Uh, I'm writing a letter. Something I haven't done in ages. I'm used to the keyboard doing all the work for me. What? Is that surprising? I'm actually quite the net surfer, you know? So, uh, what does the letter say? No, oh, no, no, don't look. Oh, I'm shy. <laughs> we'll tell you when the time is right. Are you curious about the letter? Excited, perhaps? Even exhilarated? I mean, I'm very, very excited, yes. We are too. Your enthusiasm is contagious, you know. Just talking with you is enough to make our hearts race. Just look at my wife. She's as giddy as a schoolgirl. So we got one more. One last for um, Bunkichi and what's her name again? I was going to say Mitsuru. That said, I hope we can wrap up the matter before your next visit. But yeah, last one. With both of them. Evening time. Oh, welcome back. Come and think of it, have you heard of B Blue V? It's the shop in Polonia Mall, but there's a rumor you can talk to spirits there. Sounds a little sketchy. Hmm, we can check it out. Okay. He's all alone. What is he reading? What is that? Fashion magazine? Okay. Um, let's check it out. Uh, what's the name? B Blue V? So it's right here. Our 3000 yen program will cleanse your soul and send you to heaven. Um, okay. Our forgotten skills, yes. Oh, wait, time will pass? No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. No, no, no. Just in case I accidentally do it. No, I'm not going to spend my time there. Um, what is this? Oh, okay, Tartarus. No, 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 let's do this. I'll do it maybe next time. Not now. We have a little bit have uh, Mutatsu right now. Yes. Dude, why do we need to spend a day just relearning skills, right? What the hell? <laughs> I'm not gonna waste my time. I was just thinking you might show up, and here you are. Hey, don't get the wrong idea, kid. It's not like I was looking forward to seeing you or anything. Anyway, what's the deal with your hair, kid? Doesn't it get in your eyes? Is that the style nowadays? My son kept his hair long, too. Mm. You should cut it. 
No, better yet, shave it all off. Give the bald look a try. I mean, that might, that might look cool in me. <laughs> Imagine. You got a good attitude, kid. You do get what I'm saying, don't you? I'm not talking about fashion here, you know. I'm saying you'd be better off without your hair. Oh, sure, you're young and good looking now, but just you wait. I mean, look at me. I'm old and ugly. My cheeks sag like a damn bulldog's. That's life, kid. People get old. Someday you'll be just like me. One day in the future, you'll see your mug in the mirror and think, damn, I was handsome back in the day. Here's a little trick so you don't lose hope in the future. Just don't expect nothing. Simple, huh? That way you won't ever be disappointed. You're gonna lose your hair eventually, kid, so why bother with it now? Bald is beautiful. You just wake up in the morning and go. No fuss. You'll no need a fuss. hat for the winter, but I say go for it. I'll spot you money for a shave and some clippers if you're short. Hell no. Uh, I'm not gonna go. But imagine though, right? Imagine if you have the option to do that in this game. And you're gonna be bald the whole game. What is all my talking putting you to sleep? Well, you can't sleep here, kid. Go home and rest in your own bed. But sometimes, though, for some people, like bald, yeah, bald really looks good on them. Sometimes, not every time. Okay, why is it so quiet now? The special training for the track and field begins today. It's about time to leave. No. You got four days, right? I think. Four days of train? Gekakon High School Practice Field. Yuko's right there. We trained all day. Also, hey, August too. No slacking. Put your yeah, yeah, August too. We we'll can reach it, I think. With that we can uh, we can uh, see the, the the competition in this uh, episode. I mean. Welcome back. Sup, dude? Didn't you have club today? How'd it go? Hey, it was no sweat. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you're tougher than I thought. So as long as you're off the injury list, we're coming up on just under two weeks till the full moon. So don't go getting hurt, okay? I know. Okay, um. Ooh, what is this? Oh, we can hang out with her. But it's been a long time since we've got some uh, ramen, and we need to include no, 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 no. ramen. Is it ramen? Oh, but we need to increase our stuff first. Yeah, let's try to max out our our charm. Ramen, right? Yeah, ramen. Pork ramen. I wonder if when you have a romanceable character, I, I don't remember how it worked in Persona 5 back then. Like, can you, I think you can go out with them, but I don't know how it worked. I forgot, I kind of forgot already. The special training for track and field continues today too. It's about time to leave. And back then, yeah, we had darts, we had billiards, even though we didn't play, I mean, we could hang out with them on those uh, areas. Let's see what we can do once we uh, get Mitsuru. Yeah, my, my, my goal is still Mitsuru right now. We haven't even started her, uh, what do you call it? Her social link. I guess we need to. Oh, yeah, we need to max out our back. knowledge. People seem to have calmed down a bit, despite the media. But there will be serious problems. You don't end this. Okay. Huh? We're just exaggerating, right? Then again, uh, maybe not. Ah, uh, Tanaka. Oh yeah, at least we have some social links at night now. It's pretty good, so we can have some scenes. Before I enlighten you today, well, you notice anything different about me? Let's just say sort of. Ooh, so you can tell. I had my hair revitalized. It doesn't look healthier now. 
Yeah. It's quite a hassle, but appearances are a big part of the job in my line of work. That said, I'm the total opposite at home. I dress like a slob and only shower every three days. Let me come up with what? an analogy. Hmm. You only shower every three days. But yeah, I did watch um, some YouTube videos. Uh, if you know, what do you call that? Paolo? Paolo from Tokyo? He, he does uh, like a day in a life with uh, some people, right? And yeah, is it not common in Japan to like take a shower before you go, for example, go to work or go to school? Because yeah, those the people I've uh, watched, they wake up, they, okay, they brush their teeth and then uh, wash their face, I guess. But they don't really take a shower. After that, they just go. Is that common there? I don't know. Yeah, but for me, I take a shower every time I, I go out. I'll go to Vegetables. school, etc. Go to work. Imagine an organically grown cucumber that looks all deformed. Compare that to a cucumber that looks perfect, but was grown using chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Which one do you think the supermarket would rather stock? Uh, the organic one. <laughs> Wouldn't that be delightful? In an ideal world, they'd offer safe and delicious vegetables regardless of their appearance. But in reality, supermarkets line their shelves with the prettiest cucumbers they can find. So, why do consumers still buy these cucumbers when they know the truth? Simple. People trust what they see. The world is governed more by appearances than realities. That's why, as much as I hate spending money, I buy expensive ties to win people's trust. Wait, you know what I just said earlier? The part about me dressing like a slob and not showering every day. Don't you dare tell anyone. I can't afford to have people start believing I'm ordinary. I only admitted it to you personally. No one else has a clue, okay? Okay. <laughs> He's rank uh, seven. Yes, rank seven. Just a reminder, do not tell a soul. If you break your promise, well, well what are you gonna do? I guess I can trust you. Uh, run along now. President Tanaka. Up until is a summer vacation? How many? Uh, two weeks? Okay, another special training. Special training is. Uh, did the coach say like four days? Was it four days? <laughs> Forgot. You're almost there! Keep up the pace! This is our year! Hayase has got nothing on us! So can we actually win that though? Or is it gonna be random or is it gonna be Welcome back? Who knows? I wanna win. The others aren't back yet though. Can we just end by said that the year by midnight? So maybe we shouldn't go to Tartarus today. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, let's just get some ramen again. Increase our charm. Special Hagakure bowl. Agakure bowl. Number five. Oh, dark hour. We're gonna get visited again. Sorry to wake you. Okay. I'm detecting a shadow. Please come to the fourth floor quickly. What? What's going on? There's a shadow in the city. Yamagishi found it unexpectedly. What? But the moon isn't full yet! It seems to be just a regular shadow, but there usually isn't any normal shadow activity outside of Tartarus. It's near Naganaki Shrine. Akihiko was already in the area, so he went ahead. I'm sure he can handle it alone, but we should be ready just in case. Gotcha! Yes! This is Yamagishi. I'm here. Sorry, but I think you guys better come quick. What's wrong? Are you in trouble? No. 
The Shadow's been defeated. Or rather, it was already defeated when I got here. What happened? This little fella took a hit for me. I want to save him if we can. What? Took a hit? Who's he talking about? Little fella? Don't ask me. Wait, is it the little kid? At any rate, let's move out. What's his name again? Ken? Is it him? Oh no! The dog! He's bleeding though. Okay, Koro-chan? You know this dog? Yeah, everyone around here does. We've gotta help him, quick! First, we need to stop the bleeding. Man, he's one tough fighter. He defeated that shadow all by himself. Wait, does that mean... This dog's a Persona user? He says, this is a place of peace, so I protected it. There are flowers over there. Those flowers... They must be for the priest who died in the accident here. So he really was guarding this place. Okay, hold on. I guess. Don't tell me you can translate dog language too! Canines do not have their own language. However, speech is not the only means of communication. This fellow really is a rare breed. Correct. He's not the only one. Alright, let's report to the chairman so we can conclude this mission. As for a vet, it's midnight, but I think I can arrange something. Good job, boy. You're one amazing dog. It's kind of sad. When he joins us, I'm gonna remove... Who am I gonna remove? <laughs> I don't know. Practice again every single day. Dude, I wish they increased the number of characters you can bring into, <laughs> into battle. Sorry. Wow! That was a great lap! Keep it up! You might be able to win the whole thing! Like if the enemy can have five or six characters, right, in uh, a field sometimes. I wish we could have that as well. Welcome back. Because we got like eight characters, right? In in five, we got eight, was it eight characters? But yeah, eight characters. This one I don't know yet, but we have a lot already, and you can't really use all of them. Like Junpei got bench. I bench him already. So yeah, I want more characters, and when uh, I guess I guess. Uh, Koro, they joined the party. Akihiko's buddy. I'm not remembering his name all the time because he's not here here yet. But yeah, if all of them join now, who do we use, right? Who do we use? Kind of hard. Okay, where do we go? Um, no, no, no. Um, I just say it was a club escapade. It's Mr. Monk right here. Hey. Okay, yes. <laughs> You're late. I was just thinking about leaving. You've been coming here a lot too, huh? Are uh, you alright, kid? You know, financially, paying for the drinks here. High school kids don't have much money, do they? At least, I never gave much to my son. Eh, I have enough. Do you now? <laughs> Guess you kids have ways to make money these days. You're not doing anything illegal, though, are you, kid? <laughs> not that I care. By the way, let me ask you. Is there anything you want right now? And I mean something you can buy with money, not some crap like love or a sense of humor. No. <laughs> Don't tell me you've attained enlightenment at your age. Back when I was a young man, I never had enough money to buy the things I wanted. When you get to be my age... Well... Try thinking about it this way. You work to make money so you can have a better life. But to make enough money, you gotta work all the time. 
So you never get to enjoy that better life you're working so hard to have. Quite a paradox, isn't it? You know what the average lifetime income of a white-collar worker is? Including a retirement fund and an annual pension. It's 250 million yen. That's not even close to a lottery jackpot. Thanks to me, you learned something new today, eh, huh, kid? Now, don't waste your life working all the time trying to get rich. Just take life as it comes. Mitsu or Mutatsu's words are kind of harsh, but I can feel his kindness. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now. But yeah, it's kind of true though. Just uh, go with the flow, I suppose, as he said. I worked my ass off for a lousy 250 million yen. And for what? Dude, there's a lot of money, man. I wish I could buy back all the time I lost. Well, yeah, 250 million yen. How much is that? In dollars. I'm, I'm gonna check. 250 million yen. Good evening. Things are really starting to liven up around here. So, how are you getting along with everyone? Ah, uh, not bad. <laughs> Why would I say who cares about them? I say not bad. Oh, that's good to hear. Just to remind you, the next full moon will be in one week. Are you ready? I actually haven't been too worried about you lately, but you should still be careful. I'll see you again. So it says here 250 million yen is 1.6 million, almost 1.7. Dollars, I mean, 1.7 million dollars. I mean, that's life changing, but yeah, um, I guess it depends where you live, I suppose. But yeah, that's a lot, a lot of money, dude. That would change your life. I beat my record. I'm gonna second team, just one person left. Their tournament is the day after tomorrow. I wonder what I'll do if I had that money. Oh, welcome back. It doesn't seem like there are a lot more of the lost than before. There were quite a few in the city today. They were making my friend really anxious. When the next full moon again next week, we really have to bring our A game, don't we? Yes. What happened to Koro? Is he okay? That's great. Yes, tell me Koro Maru is in stable condition. That wound was severe, but fortunately there wasn't any damage to his internal organs. Yes, yes. Um, what are you looking at? Excuse me. I want to be. I want you to be aware of my weakness or certain weaknesses. I'm weak against electric attacks, but second to none when it comes to gun attacks. Okay. I will riddle any kind of enemy with bullet holes. Good to know that. Okay. Um. Can we go back to our friend at the club? Yes. Right here. Okay, what happened with him now? No. It's you. Hey. Can you help me out, kid? I don't feel so good. Damn it. I can't believe I let this happen. How pathetic. Oh. I'm in bad shape. Yeah, you should go home, sir. Yeah. You're right, kid. I should go home and sleep. Even, even if I go home, I completely forgot I have a memorial service to conduct. Signing the Heart Sutra with a hangover is gonna be rough. Back in the day, all I needed was a cold shower and I'd be fine no matter how much I drank. Uh, I guess I'm getting old, huh? It's always in times like these uh, when it's hardest to be alone. Do you have any co-workers? Hmm? You asking if there are other monks at my temple? 
My temple's small, and I don't depend on nobody but myself. I'm the only one there. If you think about it, it's better to be alone. Less stress. You don't have to wait for someone else to get out of the bathroom when you need to go. My son took forever in there. Yeah, living alone is the way to achieve peace and serenity. Everything we see has form. No form has permanence. It's all in constant motion. Form has no self. Its true face is that of emptiness. And yet, form is emptiness, and emptiness is form. No two things in this world are the same. Well, to put it simply, no matter how hard you try to live your life right, someone else can always mess it up. Because form is emptiness, and emptiness is form. Maybe getting involved with you messed up my life a bit too. <laughs> Rank? Six, the unusual monk. Form I'm is emptiness. Home, kid. My head's killing me. Oh yeah, about the memorial service. It was a seventh day memorial. It was only 19. Random murder victim. What a harsh world we live in. You'd be careful on your way home too, kid. So we got, is it August now? August 1. Okay, we gotta save first, but tomorrow is the track in, uh, track and field race. Okay, I hope there's scenes there. I wanna, uh, give me at least a good scenes. Stay focused, everyone. Tomorrow's the big day. Whoa, you're doing great. That's the fastest time on the team. Good luck tomorrow. You got this. I got this. Yes, 100%. Evening. I see you're back. I hear you'll be in that competition tomorrow. You better do your best to win. Although there's this guy, Hayase, who they say is supposed to crush the competition. Watch out for him. Oh yeah, I've heard that name before. He's pretty famous, dude. I've seen him in sport magazines. It was even the point of trying to go up against guys like that. You'll just wear yourself out. Well, there's a full moon soon, so I guess you can look at it as training or something. Okay, um, we gotta make a deal with the devil first before we go on our race tomorrow. Yes. We need to tell him, sir, you better help me and win the race. I'm used to being accosted by people, but recently I had an interesting encounter. It was a young man, and not much older than you. Do you know what he said to me? He said, thank you. Blasphemy. Why would he say that? I'm not proud of this or anything, but I couldn't care less what our customers think. Don't you know who I am? I'm the president of a company that sells fake products. But then he told me he quit his part-time job and was going to study to become a public prosecutor. He wants to punish businessmen like me for bending the rules. He said I was an example of a negative role model, even though I wasn't aware of it. Maybe I'm overreacting, but what if he does become a public prosecutor and puts me behind bars? I suppose that means I wouldn't be able to give you my advice anymore. Hmm, okay. I understand him a little better now. My shareholders ought to take a leaf out of that boy's book. Apparently, it's these days aren't as naive as we thought. It's getting late, so I'll go back to the dorm again. What's the day? The day of the race. 
Let's see if we will win. It's about time. We can do this. We can do this. Attention! The time is upon us to demonstrate outstanding sportsmanship. May the best runner win. Hey, you're almost up. How are you feeling? Think you got this? Definitely. Do not forget to cheer for me, I mean. You got it. Leave the cheering to me. Oh, yeah. Here, take this. It should help get you energized for the race. And she's giving me drugs. Special, special drink. Since this is your first big event, let me give you some advice. All you have to do is give it your all. Remember, mind over matter. And the biggest enemy out there is yourself. All right, dude. Go show them what you're made of. I won. Go, go, go. I, I won, right? That was amazing. I can't believe it's your first time competing. On top of that, this was your fastest time yet. Man, you killed it. Looks like all your hard work paid off. Still a bummer, though. Even with your incredible performance, that guy still won. Oh, we lost. You mean <laughs> Ayase, say, right? They say he blows everyone out of the water in every competition. I thought people were exaggerating. Jeez, he's insane. We could sure use someone like him on our team. Ah, damn it! We'll get him next time for sure. Hey, wait. Isn't that him? Oh, there he is. Yo, you're pretty fast. I've been training. Must have been some training. Hey, I know this is weird all of a sudden, but would you want to hang out sometime? Ah. Cool. Sounds good. You still need to work on your technique, but I feel like you've got potential. Maybe you could help push me to test my limits. I usually grab a bite to eat at the strip mall in Iwatodai after school. Stop by sometime if you feel like it. The name's Mamoru Hayase. Mamoru. Well, I'll see you around. Hayase must really see you as a worthy rival. <laughs> if you see him again, tell him this. Next time I'll kick your ass! You got that? Calm down, Cause. By the way, wasn't that Mimora guy from Third High supposed to be pretty good too? He never showed. Yeah, I was talking to some of the guys from his school. Apparently they couldn't get a hold of him. They even went out to check his house, but he wasn't there. Nimura. So he's gone missing. Did he run away from home? Maybe he was afraid of going up against Hayase. But wait, do you think it's because of that apathy syndrome thing? Oh. No idea. Hope he shows up again soon in one piece. Yeah. Anyway, uh, now's not the time to get down in the dumps. Our school did great today, after all. Good job out there. All right, let's get out of here. So we got a new, um, what do you call the social link again, but we haven't unlocked him yet. But uh, we will not do that for now. Oh, it's you. I heard from Akiko that you did well in the competition. It's no big deal. No. Regardless, I'm impressed with your ability to balance so many aspects of your life successfully. Huh. Yeah, Yukikun, that's amazing. You should give yourself some more credit. If nothing else, you're at least doing something unlike someone else I know, Junpei. Thanks, I guess. Yeah, yeah, sticks and bones can break my whatever. Anyway, it's almost a full moon. That's something I can do. The mission, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, the next full moon is August 6th. That's Thursday. It's likely the enemy will be stronger than the last one, so make sure you're ready. Uh, can we uh, meet with our friend? No, 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 no. Oh, we the velvet room. Okay, so now I guess not there. We'll just meet with our friend, the... What do you call this? Hey. The priest. That's right. Oh, there you are. Mm. Feeling down today, kid. Mind listening to what this old monk has to say? 
Those folks downstairs, they're probably around your age, huh? It looks like they're having fun drinking and dancing, but you look closely. Their eyes say otherwise. I bet they come here to relieve stress from the day. But I wonder if any of them are actually enjoying themselves. Stress won't go away unless you deal with the root of the issue. You can put it off, but it'll always come back. This place is more of a refuge than a club to me. Those kids really want to relax. We should switch the music to the Heart Sutra. And... Hey, there's a microphone over there. Bring it over, kid. I'll perform a live sutra reading. Uh, you probably shouldn't do that, sir. Don't underestimate me, kid. My reading of the Heart Sutra will change your life. But I guess you're right. This place is too small to recite it properly. I've got a kid around their age, you know. My one and only son. He'll be 21 this year. Just a little older than you. You're alive, that is. Dude, why is it always like that though? Bunkichi and uh his wife, they're got their kid gone. Now our friend here. His son, gone. Very sad. You think it's okay to leave the future of this country in the hands of these kids? I mean, what if they all end up like me? Well, it ain't like I got high hopes for the future. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. Oh, sorry. I'm done talking now. Go home before it gets too late, all right? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Mutatsu. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. My Two God. this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Okay, how much time do we have though? So Monday, uh, we can go with Michael, but... Okay, let's go there first. Yeah. Well, the prices are a bit lower today. The zona. You have the chance. Meet your knuckles. Weaker. Oh, I guess it's in the team now. Okay. All right, I didn't even notice though. I got some. Take as long as you need. What are you looking for? No, no, no. For? Uh, what armor for I guess. Everything look good here? All right, then. All done here? Come back soon. So it's here, right? Nimura. 8-5 is a deadline. We got two days. What? Oh, we got to do this now, then. Marvel. I'm looking... Are you accepting a request? No. Very well. Okay, let's uh, go with Michael. Last, I guess, for today. Last, uh... Friend. Mom and Dad, they... They leave? I can't take it anymore! Mom and Dad just keep fighting! I begged them to stop fighting so much, but... Told me to leave them alone. <laughs> I made up my mind. I have to run away from home. Hmm. Calm down. Okay. Sorry, I don't want to be a brat. But I made up my mind, and I'm gonna run away. I better start packing soon. Hey. What should I bring if I'm running away from home? I need lots of snacks, right? And my insurance card? 
Uh, I'll just say that should be enough. I, I, I There should be an option to say don't go. But yeah, there's nothing. Really? Wow! Running away is easier than I thought. Now, just gotta decide when to sneak out. Either way, I'm gonna give it a try. Don't worry, I'll be just fine, okay? I'm gonna miss playing with you, though. When I run away, Mom and Dad will have to work together to find me! <laughs> this is gonna be great! I gotta make sure I'm ready to go. Okay. Uh, hopefully she doesn't end up in trouble or something. Welcome back. There will be a full moon on Thursday. Yes. But yeah, we gotta go to Tartarus um, now. I'll just um. Yes. Go because I want to see if there's scenes. Dude, why we gotta save those people again? Today, I will be joining in the operations to explore Tartarus. I am ready for deployment. I have also been equipped with a number of combat functions, in addition to the ability to summon a persona. I will provide more details later, but suffice to say, you won't want to miss it. Okay. Can you transform into a tank? Currently, I am not outfitted with any functions that enable me to morph or transform. I apologize for being unable to meet your expectations. However, I am prepared to undergo modifications if the situation demands it. Our current objective is the elimination of the large shadows that appear during a full moon. In order to accomplish this, it will be crucial to gather combat data in Tartarus. Please make efficient use of my facilities so that we may achieve our goal. Okay, when I guess uh, Thurgy Gage is max, her Thurgy Orge mode can be used. Orge mode is activated. Agus will automatically attack during her turn for three rounds unprompted. Okay, keep in mind that once Orge mode ends, I guess will overheat, rendering immobile for her next turn. Okay. Oh, yes. And between its jaws, it clenched a fragment that emitted a curious blue light. 72. Okay. So, okay, I guess this is good or a good place to end. So, yes, did some social links. I had to do a track meet. We didn't win, but I think, yeah, we're gonna get a new social link soon. Uh, Mamoru Hayase, right? I guess it's with the team now. The original plan for today was try and finish uh, until the day before of the full moon, but we got the starters again. Okay, for this one, I'm thinking. Maybe I'll just do it on my own and we come back uh, in the next episode uh, done already with this. Because remember we did this last time. It was just go, save them, go down, and then that was it. There was no special scenes or anything, right? Uh, I will see. But yeah, we only have two people here. So maybe I can just include or yeah, include the scenes. I'll just cut it out. Uh, I'll just think about it. I'm not sure it. So anyways, uh, we're going to continue this and do more of Persona 3 Reload in the next one. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.